You're a idiot. Why are you an idiot? Are you taking my picture? Yeah, put it up full mass. All right. So he pulls out a weapon. And um, according to the post, elderly man being very aggressive and condescending. An individual decided to record this interaction as this not so young fella is being very rude inside of the building. And then all of a sudden, he pulls this out. And naturally, the soul left the body of the individual recording. I mean, that's a scary moment. You have a guy who's obviously intoxicated, but still carrying a gun in his pocket. The hell. Now, I'm sure there has to be something illegal about that. It's illegal to drive a moped and be drunk. But you can have a gun and be drunk. It doesn't make sense to me. Something's not adding up here. All right, so obviously they're calling for this person to be held accountable by the police, according to the Post. We don't have any additional information. But I got to tell you, that's one of the most dangerous situations ever be in. A person that's clearly, clearly intoxicated but also still very much so willing to be violent. Ben, the man pulled out a gun from his regular ass pocket, no holster, no nothing. Yeah, and I've never seen a person go from funny, innocent, frail, elderly man to menacing threat so fast before. You thought he was gonna pull out a Werther's original from his <laughs> right. pocket. <laughs> right. And instead, <laughs> instead, would you would you like a candy? And it's a boom, it's a firearm <laughs> out of nowhere. That was quite the twist. I did not see that coming. Also, the most comically drunk sounding man I've ever seen. He was like a Looney Tunes character. All that was missing was the hiccups. I tell you, I'm, I'm gonna make sure I as soon as I get to, it's a gun. It's a gun. Where did that come it, it from? Don't shoot a bang flag. Yep. And somehow yep. this man's still far more safe feeling than a lot of police officers out there who are not yeah. drunk. So what does that there tell you? you? Go. Isn't that something? All right. Indisputable is still the fastest growing news show in America compared to CNN, Fox News, and 30 other networks. We tell the truth on indisputable because the truth is indisputable. We go places that other news media outlets refuse to go. When there were human rights abuses happening at the Victorville prison, guards and members of the community contacted us. You, through your investigative reporting, unearthed very troubling allegations about specific forms of abuse and discrimination in the federal prison system. It really doesn't take much to be a trusted voice. All it takes is to be fearless, report on matters, be an advocate. I called it the bullpen intentionally because it's a place of preparation. We present individuals who may have an opposing view, so we debate. Sometimes we interview individuals because their stories deserve to be heard. A survivor of significant police misconduct and his attorney. We covered this story earlier and remind you of the horror of one man being shot at damn near 100 times by the police. We take time on this show to showcase the temper tantrums of Karens in the wild. We do this not because we want to see people's emotional outbursts in public, but because these incidents are emblematic of a bigger societal issue taking place across the nation, and it has to be checked. My friend, my big homie, attorney at law, Benjamin Crump. I just want to thank you, man. When educated, articulate brothers like yourself speak truth to power, it makes a great difference in changing the landscape in America. Listen, no matter what you do, don't allow the politics of ideology to evaporate the soul that still exists inside of you. They don't stop, I don't stop. Racism won't stop, I won't stop. Systemic bias won't stop, I won't stop. People still need health care, so I won't stop. People still need criminal justice systems reform, so I won't stop. You won't stop either.